Hello my friends, Ahsoka the Geek here and for today's review we're going to take a look at the new Mezco 112 Collective Christopher Reeve Superman figure. So this has been a, a hotly anticipated figure for your buddy Ahsoka here. I am a huge Christopher Reeve Superman fan. Um, I really like the prototype images of this figure and I was really excited for him. And I, I, I do love the figure. It's a great figure, uh, which we'll get into in a moment. Um, but I do have a couple of quabbles uh, with him and we'll get into those too. So uh, sit back and enjoy this review. All right, so let's take a look at him. So here he is. Uh, first of all, he is on his flight stand, as you can see, So, which is great. I love the stand that came with um, very su uh, you know Superman the movie uh, inspired artwork directly from the poster, it seems. Um, so that's great. And um, also, the, 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 the accessories it comes with, or the, the main accessory, which is the Fortress control panel, is probably one of the best accessories ever. I love the Fortress of Solitude. So this accessory is, man, this is awesome. And look how it lights up. The other cool thing is these little crystals that you see, kind of, that, see that little green one right there? Um, it has a little magnet on it, and if you set the control in the middle right there, and you pop this guy in, it actually activates the Fortress console. So that is super cool. And there's two other crystals as well, clear ones that do the same thing. So seriously, really, really beautiful. Um, I want to say that it's, buying this Mesco <laughs> Superbad is, is worth it just for this alone. But this is so sweet. Um, he also comes with two different heads. So here is the one of the heads right there, and here is the creepy head right there. This is supposed to be Christopher Reeve smiling at the camera. Man, it was it's so close, yeah, so far away. Like it's uh, literally, uh, but it's yeah. It, I, I I just feel like they they missed the mark on the smiling face. It's hard, man, at the scale probably to make this look, you know, right. Um, you know, I, I really appreciate that they tried, but I do love a Superman that's actually smiling, uh, so that's great, but yeah, it just lo it looks a little off. It looks like him, but it just looks like sort of a, it, it, yeah, it's just not right there. But this could make for a great custom head for, like, a Christopher Reeve Joker figure, if you wanted to do that, so. Oh, excuse me, a little bit of a cold this morning. Um, also, you have a nice little piece of kryptonite that you see there. I'm trying to get the tracking to work. There we go. Um, a, some hands. You don't really see there. Some flight hands. You have Lex Luthor's kryptonite necklace. Hopefully you can see that. And then again, a few more crystals that probably won't even show up. So there you go. And also, I have to mention the tin that it comes in. Awesome packaging. This is a tin. And it's really cool. Um, I, I want to keep it, but... You know, I probably won't just because I have no space for it. That's one big reason I don't have a lot. Well, not really, but that's one reason I don't have a lot of stuff in packaging because it just ends up taking a lot of space. But I don't know, I could probably use these for some cookies or something. Uh, but then my wife probably wouldn't let me keep this in the kitchen. That is her domain. That's why I'm out here in the shed. Um, so, yeah, I don't I don't know what I'm going to do with this. But it's, oh, yeah, I could probably use this for my, my ex accessories. Uh, but I do have a big plastic tub for those. So I don't know. I'll do something with it, but it's really cool here. So, initially when I took him out of the, the packaging, I was, I don't know what, how I felt. Um, you know, it's, it's so weird. Like, at some angles, it looks perfect. Like, you know, it looks, it's Christopher Reeve, it's Superman, it looks awesome. But then I think it also does suffer a bit from what I call the, the Mezco dinkiness uh, problem where Mezco figures, they're a little dinky, they're a little small. They're six inch scale, so I mean, that's the scale they're going for. But I also feel like it makes them feel kind of small when you're holding them in your, in their ha in your hand. I mean, it's a small figure. You know, um, comparing it to like um, a McFarlane figure, for example, you know, it's, it's pretty small. So it, it gives us this weird effect of being, you know, small, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's one grab I have with it. Also, um, from the pictures I was seeing, I was really worried about the cape, the way it, um, you know, kind of connects to the neck. It's a lot better in person. It's not as bunchy as it looked. From the pictures I had been seeing, it looked like this costume was like one size too big for him. Uh, but it looks really good in person. And again, like, 
for most angles, he looks awesome. I'm just being nitpicky. I, I think this is probably the best you could do with this at this scale. And again, that sounds like a harsh criticism, but um, it's a great figure. It really is. Um, yeah, I keep saying um. The other thing that was, is kind of weird is the way the shoulders are attach. It's like the the bulge of his chest is a little weird to me. Like it almost feels like his um, arms are like hanging from his sides in a weird way. Um, but again, that, that might just be me. Um, also, the head sculpt, while it's great, like, I feel like this head sculpt is based on a very specific scene when Marlon Brando, I think it's from the Donner cut, no, 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 it's from Superman 1, the, the newer version they released, well, not newer, like, years ago, where there's that scene in the fortress after he does those first, uh, super feats that, that night, saves Lil Slane and does all that crime fighting and whatnot, and he's talking to jor -El. And he's standing behind this very console. Um, I, it, it feels like the head sculpt is right from that specific scene. I can just tell by the way the the hair is sort of bunched. Um, you know, it's like not based on how you look later in the movie, um, which is fine. I just, first of all, it's pretty sad that I know that. Um, but I, I just feel like that's where they got this specific head sculpt from. I guess the reason that matters is now I'm going to bring in a very unfair comparison. Here is the Hot Toys. Superman. This is the my grail. I actually got this at retail when it came out. I think I paid 200 bucks for it 10 years ago. So um, this is my favorite, probably one of my favorite collectibles, um, or I think it might be my favorite collectible. So you can just tell the difference with the head sculpt on the Hot Toys ones versus the head sculpt on the Mezco one. It just looks a little bit different. They're both accurate Christopher Reeves head sculpts, but just... Um, you know, just, they're just different. I prefer the Hot Toys one. Um, hands down, this Hot Toys one is definitely still the best version of Christopher Reeve you are ever going to get in plastic, um, in my opinion. Um, this this thing is perfect. I love this figure. It's still under 500 on eBay, um, which I know is still quite a bit, but honestly, I still think that's worth every penny. Um, even though I love this Mesco one, and this Mesco one's a lot of fun, and it's going to be great displayed next to this Hot Toys one on his control panel. It's a beautiful figure. I still give it to Hot Toys. But again, uh, Mesco did this at a six inch scale, so you couldn't get it as detailed as you could with the, the bigger version. So um, it's been expensive. God, I said um again. You guys, you guys could probably do a drinking game. How many times do I say um in a video? Anyways, or how many times do I say anyways? Here he is next to the Mafex Jim Lee Superman that was released like two months ago or a month ago. So he's actually taller, and I apologize, but you can't, this doesn't get very accurate since I'm holding him, but he's actually taller than the uh, the Mafex one, which is interesting. So he's taller than the Mafex one. This one comes with a cloth costume. Um, this one doesn't, but this is a great figure as well. But anyways, just wanted to show you next to him. And there he is next to the McFarlane one, which I, I touched on earlier. Obviously, the McFarlane one is huge, plastic. But I love this McFarlane one, too. I, w I hope McFarlane does a Christopher Reeve Superman. Um, so, there he is. Now, would I recommend you buying this? Uh, totally up to you. If you do not have the Hot Toy Superman and you have no intention of ever getting that, you want to stay in this, you know, 6-inch, 7-inch scale, well, this is 6-inch, definitely recommend getting this. This is probably going to be the best 6-inch Superman you're ever going to get, unless... Again, McFarlane or someone else does a um, another plastic one. Oh, duh. NECA did a, a plastic one years ago. I was going to bring him out for this review. He's packed away in the garage, so I apologize. But uh, I'm sure you can find some pictures of him online or another review. I like this one better than the NECA one. One thing about the NECA one is that his leg is broken currently. That's one reason he's packed away, and I never glued him together. So, yeah. Um, I think this is better than the neck one, though. The neck one's fantastic, but I think this one's better. Uh, oh, also, this is a wired cape. The cape quality kind of varies. Like, it's very thin fabric, but the wired cape is cool. So you can make some really cool flight poses. I've seen some really amazing pictures on Instagram, on eBay, of not eBay, <laughs> on Facebook, of what people have been doing with it. So it's a really fun figure. It looks like Christopher Reeve. It's a little dinky because it's a Mesco figure, but other than that, it's, it's a beautiful figure. I mean, look at this. Man, it's, 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 it's really nice. It's a really nice figure. I didn't even talk about articulation and stuff. 
So I'm just going to do that now, even though I was wrapping up this review. It's a highly articulated figure. Uh, you have uh, double joint, uh, ooh, maybe single joint and knees. You have some uh, foot articulation, ab crunch, really great neck movement. So you can make some really awesome um, poses and moves with this guy. So look at that. So it's a really awesome figure. I, uh, how, uh, it's funny, I know I just kind of bitched about this figure a little bit or complained about it, but I do wish I almost had two. One to keep on the flight stand and also one to keep behind the base. Um, so, yeah, it's a great figure. It's a great representation of Christopher Reeve. I think the more time I spend with it, the more I like it. So, uh, that's it. I hope you... Oh, it got really loud there for a sec. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please put some your questions in the comments below. And uh, thank you so much. Have a great day, friends.